हाउ कैन आई थिंक ऑफ सच अगली थिंग्स ओ माई गॉड आई एम सच ए हॉरेबल पर्सन Often we tend to judge and criticize ourselves based on our thoughts that are nothing but the inner voice inside our head. But how does our inner voice decide what to say and when to say it? How much of what it says turns out to be true? How much of what it says is even important? In today's video, we are going to find answers to all these questions from the New York Times best-selling book The Untethered Soul by Michael A Singer. So without any further delay, let's get started. Smart idea number 1, you are not your mental voice. Stop feeling that one thing it says is you and the other thing it says is not you. If you are hearing it talk, it's obviously not you. You are the one who hears the voice. You are the one who notices that it's talking. You do hear it when it talks, don't you? Make it say hello right now. Say it over and over a few times. Now shout it inside. Can you hear yourself saying hello inside? Of course you can. There is a voice talking and there is you who notices the voice talking. The problem is that it's easy to notice the voice saying hello, but it's difficult to see that no matter what the voice says it is still just a voice talking and you listening suppose you were looking at three objects a flower pot a photograph and a book and were then asked which of these objects is you you'd say none of them i am the one who is looking at what you are putting in front of me it doesn't matter what you put in front of me it's always going to be me looking at it you see it's an act of a subject perceiving various objects This is also true of hearing the voice inside. It doesn't make any difference what it's saying. You are the one who is aware of it. As long as you think that one thing it's saying is you, but the other thing it's saying is not you, you have lost your objectivity. You may want to think of yourself as the part that says the nice things, but that's still the voice talking. You may like what it says, but it's not you. There is nothing more important to true growth than realizing that you are not the voice of the mind you are the one who hears it If you don't understand this you will try to figure out which of the many things the voice says is really you Smart idea number 2 your mental voice mostly speak rubbish If you watch your mental voice objectively you will come to see that much of what the voice says is meaningless Most of the talking is just a waste of time and energy. The truth is that most of life will unfold in accordance with forces far outside your control, regardless of what your mind says about it. It's like sitting down at night and deciding whether you want the sun to come up in the morning. The bottom line is the sun will come up and the sun will go down. Billions of things are going on in this world. You can think about it all you want but life is still going to keep on happening. In fact, your thoughts have far less impact on this world than you would like to think. If you are willing to be objective and watch all your thoughts, you will see that the vast majority of them have no relevance. They have no effect on anything or anybody except you. They are simply making you feel better or worse. about what is going on now what has gone on in the past or what might go on in the future if you spend your time hoping that it doesn't rain tomorrow you are wasting your time your thoughts don't change the rain you will someday come to see that there is no use for that incessant internal chatter and there is no reason to constantly attempt to figure everything out smart idea number 3 Your mental voice releases the energy inside. Eventually, you will see that the real cause of problems is not life itself. It's the commotion the mind makes about life that really causes problems. Now this raises a serious question. If so much of what the voice says is meaningless and unnecessary, then why does it even exist? The secret to answering this question lies in understanding why it says what it says and when it says it for example 
In some cases, the mental voice talks for the same reason that a tea kettle whistles. That is, there's a build up of energy inside that needs to be released. If you watch objectively, you will see that when there is a build up of nervous, fearful or desire based energies inside, the voice becomes extremely active. This is easy to see when you are angry with someone and you feel like telling them off. Just watch how many times the inner voice tells them off before you even see them. When energy builds up inside, you want to do something about it. That voice talks because you are not okay inside and talking releases energy. So now let's sum up all the smart ideas we have learned from today's video. Smart idea number 1 you are not your mental voice number 2 your mental voice mostly speak rubbish number 3 your mental voice releases the energy if you want to get more smart ideas from this book then you can buy the book the untethered soul by michael a singer from the link given below in the description and if you found this video useful then share this video with your friends and help them thanks for watching this video till the end more wisdom more solution better life